I tell people I'm Jewish, they're like, no, man, you must be Irish. You got red hair. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm Jewish. They're like, oh, but you must also be Irish. That, that's likely, yeah. I'm the rare McJew. They're always after me, lucky star. <laughs> I don't know why I said that part like a pirate. Was that part weird? That part was weird. But Irish people get better stereotypes than other people because Irish people can hold liquor. That's a positive stereotype. Irish people can hold liquor. You can be proud. French people can do it too, though. Irish people aren't the only ones. French people can hold liquor. They can't hold territory during wartime, but liquor. <laughs> Which, if anybody was offended by the racism right there, let me point out the difference between being racist and being historically accurate. Because <laughs> historical's hysterical. I'm actually trying to show you that racism is a silly idea. It's generalizations about a whole group of people based on two or three people. To me, that's just dumb. Am I offending any racists in the crowd tonight by <laughs> talking about this? That'd be awkward. To be like, you know, I'm a racist and I don't approve. I'm gonna die. Because you can't walk around New York with a t-shirt like, I heart racism, like you could, couldn't do maybe parts of Jersey, but not here, not here. <laughs> All of Connecticut, but not here, you know? Not here. No, you couldn't wear that t-shirt anywhere. I'm just kidding. Those t-shirts wouldn't sell anywhere, because I tried. But the reason I bring up racism is actually uh, very personal to me. It's because my sister's adopted and she's black. It's a true story. I tell people that they have no idea how to react. Most often they congratulate me. Like I picked her out at some point. Like, like I was in the adoption agency with my mother going, ooh, get that one. She's tan, mom, I like that. Come on, think of the street cred. Like I'm... But I love my sister, because she taught me not to be racist, and that's a fantastic lesson to learn. Because how could I be racist with a black sister? How would that pan out? Just grow up, talk to some racist guy, be like, you know, I can't stand black people either, because they always read my diary. I just told like 200 people, I don't know, I keep a diary, but before you judge me, I just want to point out, if you were a white Jewish kid with a black sister, you'd start writing things down too, okay? <laughs> just keep a couple of notes, because there's racism everywhere. We tried to deal with it in New York City. We tried to ban the N-word. Did you hear about that? New York City Council banned the N-word, because they said that that word promotes ignorance. And that's true, that word does promote ignorance. Coincidentally, what also promotes ignorance is banning words. So. <laughs> Thanks, New York City, for helping us move ever sideways. We appreciate that.